hey guys welcome back to new video uh, in this video we are going to see how we can track all of our life cycle event within our jetpack compose applications so suppose in our main activity we have on create on start on resume on pause on stop and on destroy so these are the life cycle event which we have in our main activity and in our composable we are going to tackle all these events by using a certain approach and that approach is going to be discussed in this video so see this video and learn how we can do this so first thing we are going to create a composable naming composable life cycle okay and within this composable life cycle we are going to pass two parameters the first one is our life cycle owner which is in its lies from local life cycle owner dot current all right our second parameter is on event which actually a function which will accept a life cycle owner and a life cycle event and i assume that it it doesn't return anything so that is why i use unit as a return type now within this composable life cycle i am going to create a disposable effect remove this keys and effect instead pass your life cycle owner and within this disposable effect scope i am going to create a variable naming observer which will actually initialize by our life cycle event observer remove this pair of parentheses and create a pair of parentheses and it will give us source and event so here our source will represent a life cycle owner and event will is actually represent our life cycle dot event so within this life cycle event observer i am going to use my on event and pass our source and event okay now i am going to attach this observer to our life cycle owner life cycle so life cycle owner life cycle we need to add observer in order to observe all the changes and after that we have something which is called on dispose which will call when our disposable effect is destroyed so we use life cycle owner dot life cycle and remove this observer so that there is no memory leak and uh, that's it everything is fine and now i am going to create main screen and within this main screen we are actually going to see the life cycle change change occur or not so for that i am going to use this life cycle composable life cycle which we are which we have created over here so instead of life cycle event create a pair of parentheses and it will actually provide us the source and the event now i am using here when ex expression and pass our event now by using our life cycle dot event we are receiving all of the event just like our on destroy on stop on pause and all these thing so first we have on create now i am going to duplicate this thing so we have on create on start and after that we have on resume and after that we have on pause duplicate this thing after that we have on pause on stop and lastly we have on destroy so these are the life cycle events and i am using lock cat to show you so main screen this one is on create convert this thing into a string now copy this thing and paste everywhere within our on start on resume on pause on stop on destroy and copy this on start paste in here on resume paste in here on on copy this on pause on pause here on stop 
on stop here and the on destroy on destroy here okay all right so everything is fine and now call this main screen within our surface and after that i am going to run this application within our nexus 5x and see whether it is uh, perfectly giving us the life cycle event or not application will run successfully and when i open this run uh, here you can see on create on start and on resume is called okay now when i put this thing into a uh, background then here you can see on pause and on stop will call and when i open this app application again then on that occasion on start and on resume will be called so by using this approach you can observe or of our life cycle event so that's all for this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and take care